In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Paint.net to your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. So Paint.net is just like Paint, however, it's a lot more advanced. It gives us features such as being able to add layers, which then helps when you want to make transparent images. It also supports many different file formats. It then also has special effects, and you can also view your history on things that you've done within your project and you can then go back through the history. So the first thing that you need to do to download paint.net is click on the link that's in the description below and you will then end up on a page that looks like this. You will now see two different options. Get it from Microsoft or download now. You need to click on download now and you then need to click on paint.net and then whatever version number it is. Once the .zip folder has downloaded, go ahead and open up the location where it's downloaded to you then need to right click on the .zip and you then need to go extract tool. You then need to click on extract and keep show extracted files when complete. Ticked. You now need to double click on the setup file. You will now have a window that looks like this. So you need to select your language and you then need to choose custom and then click on next. You then need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, click on I agree and then go next. And you can now choose if you want to create a desktop shortcut for paint.net and you can also keep automatically check for updates ticked if you want it to always check for updates. So I'm happy with these options. Once you've chosen the options you're happy with, click on next. You can now choose the destination of where you'd like to install paint.net. So I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive. Once you've chosen the destination for paint.net to be installed, click on next. And you then need to click on next again and paint.net will begin to install. So while that's installing, I just want to say I will be doing some videos on how to do things within paint.net. So if you want to check out those videos, then click the subscribe button. Once it's finished installing, keep start paint.net ticked and then click on finish. And there we go. As you can see, paint.net is now installed on my Windows 11 computer. So that's how easy it is to download and install paint.net. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.